Hey guys, what's up? Hope everyone's doing just fine. I'm right now at the Shell petrol bank near Sankey Road, waiting for a couple of my friends to arrive. Last night, we just decided to go out on a short ride as it's been a long time since we went on one. So, we decided to go out to the nearby Mandaragiri Hills, which is about 65 kilometers from Bangalore off the Tumkur Highway. The guys have just arrived and we are now on our way to the location. I've got the beautiful Sankey tank to my right which is a wonderful place to walk and just relax so if you're from around here do check it out. The place we are going to be visiting today has three main spots. The first one is the beautiful statue of Lord Buddha, then we've got the Peacock Jain temple and then a lake to cool it off. By the way guys, I just want to say thank you to all of those who watch my videos because off late there's been a lot of traffic on my videos. However, there's one thing I'm trying to understand is that a lot of people watch the videos, however, haven't subscribed yet. So, if you've forgotten, please click on this button to subscribe or please let me know in my comments or in my Instagram as to what I can do better. As per Google, this is the turn that I need to take. So, let's see where this road leads to. By the way, we just had a small little breakfast on the way here because there is this hill that we need to climb and I'm gonna need all the energy I can get. Looks like we've reached our destination. It hardly took us about an hour to get here and looks like there's an entry fee as well. Okay, so we are now first added to the lake because the guy told us they may block the entry soon. Uh, we will then come back to visit the hill and the lake. But in order, the temple comes first, then the hill and then the lake. completely a dirt road however I know cars can get through as well so if you're coming here by a two-wheeler or by a four-wheeler don't don't worry you'll get through there's a lot of loose soil on the road as there is construction going up on the temple which is up the hill however it's pretty manageable this looks like a parking spot however we can actually go down by the lake because we're on a bikes and just like that guys look at the side of the lake it's really beautiful. I don't see a lot of crowd down here, so I guess we can spend some good time here. If you guys want to come here, make sure you come as early as possible because that's when the lakes are most beautiful. This looks like a good parking spot for us to relax and get some pics as well. So we're going to park here and spend some time here. Ah. 
I've just reached the first stop of uh, our plan today. So basically we've come to the lake uh, at the moment. It's quite empty. It's really, really peaceful. So the plan is to finish the lake first because uh, the person below at the parking spot told us that we might not be allowed later on. So I think if you're coming in, it's better to come in early. Uh, we paid about 10 rupees per bike. So I think it's, it's nothing basically. So uh, come in early. Uh, you got the entire lake for yourself. Look at this beautiful lake. So you got this lake. You got beautiful hills behind you. It's a pretty good place to just sit down, chill for a while, relax. It's nature and it's the weekend and what else do you have to do, right? So you can come here on your own. You can come here with your family. You've got decent amount of space. You can park your vehicles. You can come by car as well. So you got this beautiful lake to enjoy. So we're gonna sit down at the lake, relax for some time because we've reached here pretty early. So uh, we'll explore the lake, we'll go to a few places around here and then we're gonna go to the hill. So basically, I'm not sure how many steps are there. I'll get to know once I go there. So let me finish this. Uh, I'll see what else is there over here to explore. And once we're done with this, we will then go to the hill. Once we are done with the hill, we'll then go to the temple and well, these are the three places that we can explore here. We're now at the foot of what's called the Mandargiri Hills. There are roughly about 450 steps, but they are pretty small and it should not take us too long to get to the top. There is another temple up there and a beautiful view of the lake. So, you know, let's get going. I've just reached the top of the hill and it was a pretty quick walk. For those who don't want to walk, there is a way to the top on the back which is accessible by your vehicle. And this is the construction I am talking about. It looks like a Ladakh style stupa. I'd rather call this Chota Ladakh than the quarry located on the Kolar road which many people call Chota Ladakh. We are now entering this temple which is known to be a 12th century Jain temple and it's accessible to anyone who can get up here. I don't think it's open at the moment as I see a lot of construction work going on here. Hopefully this will be up and ready soon so I can show it to you the next time I come here. This is the back of the temple which leads you to this beautiful view of this lake that we visited earlier. We've just reached the temple the, of, uh, which is at the foothills of Mandaragiri hills. Uh, so basically you have the hills which is about half a kilometer away from here but then you'll have to walk up maybe another almost a kilometer and just at the foothills of that hill is this beautiful temple so we've got this huge uh, not sure what this is but it's of Lord Buddha so we've got this huge I don't think it's a stupa but I'm guessing it is one so we've got this one here 
and just behind it you got a small statue of Lord Buddha and just beside it is the Instagram famous peacock temple the peacock Jain temple We just spent some time taking some beautiful pictures at uh, the tiny little Buddha statue and I must say you, it's really beautiful and it's really really peaceful but then compared to this I guess that's nothing so here you've got the beautiful Instagram famous peacock Jain temple well I was lucky enough to get a few shots by the Buddha statue because it was quite empty but uh, it's gonna be a little hard here because I see a lot of people there so I'm gonna have to wait for the right time in order to get a nice decent beautiful picture but look at this it's a beautiful temple and just like that guys we have come towards the end of this video because this is as far as the camera goes because we're not allowed to record inside the temple itself I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe on the way out and I will see you soon.